to the world's greatest show. What is Expo 2020? It's basically a big exhibition of the whole world. Expo happens every five years and has been happening since the past 170 years. This time, it is in amazing Dubai. The Expo runs for six months starting from the 1st of October 2021 to 31st of March 2022 and the ticket options are... As you see on the screen, there are four options and if you're watching this before the October 15th, you can actually buy an October pass for the price of a one-day ticket which is 95 dirham and that allows you unlimited access to the expo site during the month of October. Then you have the season pass for 495 dirhams which allows you to enter the expo for the six months duration that it runs for. Then there's a multi-day pass for 30 days from the first day of use for 195 dirhams and a one-day ticket for 95 dirhams. For more information about the tickets, please do visit the link that you see on the screen. We'll make sure to put the same link down in the description as well. Also note that entry to the expo is free if you are in the categories that's on the screen. This edition of the expo, there are 191 participating countries and this is the first time that each country gets its own pavilion. If you're interested to see what these pavilions look like, we do have exclusive videos of some of the pavilions like India, Pakistan, Philippines, Bangladesh already on our channel. We'll link them down in the description below. Make sure to check them out. This Expo 2020 site is basically the size of 600 football fields. Can you imagine that? There's so much to see. So let's explore together. Let's start at the entrance of the Expo. Behind me is one of the main entrances of the Expo site and it is this big gate made of carbon fiber and it stands 21 meters tall and if you look closely it's an Arabic design called the Mashrabia. To enter the Expo site you will need to show that you're vaccinated or have a negative PCR test done within the last 72 hours. First things you should do upon arriving at the expo is get yourself an Expo 2020 passport which can be found inside the official stores or online on Amazon. Let's go inside and pick one up for ourselves. Some things to clarify about the expo passport is that it is just for your memory. It's a keepsake or a souvenir. You don't actually need it to enter the expo site. It costs only 20 bucks and it is made of 50 pages for you to collect stamps of the pavilions you visit and to make memories at the expo site. Right now we're in front of the Al Basel Plaza which is known as the heart of the Expo 2020 site. It's such a massive structure and it's the size of two Airbus A380s side by side. This acts as a 360 degree projection surface for any light and sound show which will be brilliant at night. Al Wasl means connection in Arabic and this is basically the connection point for the three thematic districts that is the sustainability, mobility and opportunity. Besides these districts, you can also access the UAE Pavilion and the Metro Concourse from the Al Wasl Plaza. Speaking of the Metro, how can you visit the Expo 2020 site? There are a lot of options and they are you could drive or take a taxi to visit the expo site. If you are driving, then there are parking shuttles from the parking areas. Just make sure to remember where you parked and which bus you took. The most convenient way to visit the expo is through the Dubai Metro. There is a dedicated metro stop called the Expo 2020 station, which takes you right to the entrance of the expo. Then there's also a free service called the Expo Rider. You can catch it from different locations in Dubai and other Emirates, as you can see on the screen. While you're here, there are a couple of options to move around. The obvious one is to walk, but the team has also arranged for other options such as buggies, an expo train and also people movers. Now that we have a good understanding of what the expo is, let's check out the main districts one by one. As mentioned earlier, there are three districts in Expo 2020, Opportunity, Sustainability and Mobility. First, 
Let's go to the opportunity district. Similar to how each country has its own pavilion, so do these districts. And right now, we are in front of the opportunity district pavilion called the Mission Possible. You did hear me say Mission Possible and not Mission Impossible. That's because in here we learn that each of us can contribute in small ways to create a better world. There are three tracks as you can see relating to food, water and energy. We chose the track the Sun Mama where we met Mama Fatma who teaches other women to install solar panels helping create sustainable energy in Zanzibar. We played a fun interactive game of pointing solar panels at the sun. And finally we learned how Mama Fatma's contribution to her community really helped better everyone's lives. At the end of the pavilion you are in a pledge room which is an upside down space where the clouds are on the ground and the garden is on the ceiling. And here we're asked to make a pledge, a small way in which we can contribute to a better future. And once you're ready with the pledge, it is then transported to the ceiling garden in the room. While you're in Opportunity District, the other country pavilions that you should check out are Switzerland. To have the experience of hiking up a mountain through real fog. The UK pavilion. To admire the architectural beauty that it is and also contribute your own word which will appear on the screens of the pavilion. We chose the word content and there it is. You can also do this when you visit the UK pavilion. And of course, do check out the Luxembourg pavilion because it is the only pavilion in the entire expo to have an actual slide. So let your inner child out. Here, there are so many food options to choose from. We have regional cuisines at various pavilions, to food trucks, to local gems, and even restaurants operated by Michelin star restaurants. We have curated some of our favorite restaurants into videos and we'll share them in the links down below as well as in the cards above. Do check it out if you're interested in the food at Expo 2020. And don't worry about water because it's free of cost at any of the drinking fountains around the Expo site. Now that we're done with opportunity, let's go to the Mobility District. We will first visit Alif which is the Mobility Pavilion. The first thing that you will do at Alif is to travel on the world's largest elevating platform in simple words, it's a lift and it takes you to the House of Wisdom in the 9th century Baghdad where we meet famous Arab explorers Kindi as well as 9 meter tall historical giants of mobility Al Bakri, Ibn Majid and Ibn Battuta. These larger than life wax figures are so brilliant to look at and the details on them are simply perfect that you will be totally in awe looking at them. Wondering what you look like as an astronaut? You can actually project your face onto Hazal Mansouri's space suit and get your wishes come true. We are then transported 50 years into the future and we are shown a preview of what cities would look like in 2081. While you're in mobility, the country pavilions that you must check out are Korea for its unique augmented reality experiences as well as brilliant views of the expo site for amazing picture opportunities. Russia for its colorful exterior as well as this giant replica of the brain which shows that connection between the human brain is imperative for the future. And finally Australian Pavilion where we explore the diverse lands of the world's first astronomers 60,000 years ago. Also enjoy the Aussie lifestyle with some yummy food and live performance at the pavilion. Done with the mobility district, on to the sustainability district next. We're right now in front of the Terra which is the sustainability pavilion and as you can see it's such a huge structure and it's covered in full of solar panels, about 4,900 of them and also 18 energy trees around the pavilion. Let's head in and see what's inside Terra. We 
We're first taken underwater and we can actually experience how whales communicate with each other in this tunnel that echoes. We had a lot of fun in it, as you can see. Then we played a game of Would You Rather where we choose between two options which will help us realize how much we care about the earth. We also can learn how plastic has really polluted the oceans in the world. We're also taught new sustainable ways such as vertical farming which uses nutrients from the air instead of soil. At the end of the pavilion, you see a 3D zoetrope which is an optical illusion that shows the delicate balance between the Earth's ecosystems. While you're in sustainability, the pavilions that you should check out are Singapore, for the experience of wandering through a rainforest in the desert. Brazil, to be able to walk through a waterfall during a hot summer day. And Netherlands, to discover how we can integrate climate systems and an innovative vertical farm. So that was everything that you needed to know about Expo 2020 and I hope you found this to be useful. Make sure to save this video for later to your visit to Expo 2020. And if you did like this video, give this video a thumbs up and definitely do check out our other Expo 2020 content such as visit to other pavilions. We'll make sure to link those down in the description below. Take a moment to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!